And to security, to further secure troubled parts of Katsina State, the government has commissioned another set of 600 trained vigilantes. They are the second batch of vigilantes trained in the last few months to provide efficient support for local security operatives in remote parts of the state, which have been under recurrent attacks by bandits. TVC News correspondent Adil Latif Yusuf reports. <laughs> The goal of the state government is to train over 3,000 vigilantes with help from police and the Civil Defense Corps. This was prompted by the need to complement the inadequate number of security agencies working to protect lives and properties in the nine frontline local governments of the state. Katsina State in the last few years has suffered a serious setback in security, which has resulted to the loss of lives and properties. But the truth of the matter is we are doing more than you can think the caliber of people involved in this training and the type of training received by them. I have no doubt in my mind that the days to come would be bloody for the bandits. And believe me, uh, in this type of situation, there is no going back or no surrender. The newly commissioned vigilantes will be deployed to their localities to provide security in secured areas by the security agencies and will continue to work in conjunction with them to generate intelligence. And the security challenges of armed banditry are facing in the state and they have committed themselves, sacrificed themselves, and given up their lives and everything for the defense of Katsina. Most of them, these are unprecedented trainings, sir. Most of the graduates you are seeing today are very senior citizens. Most of them have PhD degrees, masters, first degrees, diplomas, and NCE. That shows the level of commitment. The issue of local security is gaining momentum due to the lingering security situation in part of the country. Many are optimistic that the effort by some states to provide alternative security personnel to protect their localities will yield fruits. Abdulatif Yusuf, TVC News, Kasana.